Okay, welcome back. Um, right, you should be at this kind of stage now. I've split an additional thing that I did do is split this front face of the trigger away, which is over this area. Um, that was done on the X axis and just split away from this body. That's the only thing that I've changed. <coughs> Other than that, the trigger area there, that's all been linked up. So that's all around this area and the front is obviously here. But I haven't linked them together because there'll be quite a bit of distortion with the shape. Um, that's the front, that's the barrel area. This is of course the main gun area. This is the front of the gun, all front views of the gun. And that's the handle area of the gun, I think. Let's have a look. UV. Or at the back of the gun, it's one of them. But yeah, it's the back of the gun there. The front of the gun's there. So it actually makes sense how this is laid out, and you'll be able to see the see what is what very easily in Photoshop with the way this all been laid out. And this mesh is all clean. Right, okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is you could physically um, put all of these into this area which is this top right hand side now my although you can set it differently Maya looks between the, the zero and the one um, degree box in which to put it in there is an automatic way of doing this um, you could do this initially and then move things around so if you go to polygon and then go down to layout and hit the options box there just check that single and multiple objects non-overlapping is checked pre-scale none uh, flip reverse is checked um, it would just flip it if it was reversed but um, uniform rotate 90 degrees shell stack in shape spacing preset 512 percentage space 0.2 um, region preset is full square and then just lay out your UVs and you'll see that it's now dumped them quite nicely actually into this area here. Now I would say at this point to actually have a look and make sure that uh, nothing has got distorted. And what we're looking for here, which I didn't mention earlier, is that if you scale any of these parts in the UV texture editor, then you're gonna get more squares or the squares will be uneven compared to all the other sides. And what you're looking for is for all your squares to be relatively about the same size as each other, especially on the body, um, which they all appear to be. That's a little bit smaller on that side. So I could go in and take that UV and just scale it down so I will and you'll see it until it's about the same size which that is now so that's good just move well I've scaled that point there we need to did I if you, it's sometimes better just to select by shell that's done something very strange there I'm gonna go back on myself there we go and I'm just going to select this by shell because I've scaled a, a part that I didn't want to now I scaled that in to about the same size that's about right okay job done um, I would say that you could have a reshuffle of where where Maya has put these parts I mean for instance I don't like the fact that um, my barrel area isn't all close together I like it all to be together with each other and then you know that that is of course part of the barrel also I don't like the way that it's put this bit it's actually twisted it um, which again I don't like I come back over here put it over here that's a lot neater um, this trigger area here now if you've got room to play with, break the spacing up. It'll only help you later. I'll put it in there. A nice lot of space between them. If I grab these. Um, this can go straight back in here. 
a bit of space around that. I'm going to look at this space because to me, visually, it looks like it's too big. which is making the spore, so yeah, it is a bit too big, so reduce it down, and it's just doing it by eye. I'm going to put this piece down in position over the is acting up. I'm going to put this down just in position here. It tells me that it's that part of it. And the same goes for these. Select the shells there and I'm going to put them. I'm going to try to put them over here. That goes in there like that. So that all looks pretty neat now. A little bit worried about the spacing between these two that are hard to get to in Photoshop. Uh, possibly. But, uh, move it a little bit. So that's better. That layout's a little bit better than the automatic layout that we had earlier. Okay, so that's it. That's our mesh ready to be um, a snapshot taken of. So now we're gonna take a snapshot of this, go to polygons, go down to UV snapshot, click UV snapshot. Um, you'll see that it's put it into your project folder in images out UV. Um, make sure your X and Y size is 1024, hopefully it should be set at that. Keep at aspect ratio, color ratio, color value um, is full, so it's white, anti-alias, and image format is TIFF. Um, UV range, um, 0 to 1. Now this is the 0 to 1, which is the 0 to 1, that means this box. If you set it to minus, then it would include other boxes. So that's that. And if you're happy with that, which you should be, press OK and it will save it as UV out in your images folder. Um, and we'll open this up in the next lesson within Photoshop. So if you haven't got Photoshop, I'll give you need a reference to the files as we go along. You don't have to use Photoshop, you could use any image editing package. So, okay, and there's one last thing I wanted to tell you. Along the way, do make sure that you constantly save your gun. And if you like, save it in different versions. So before you tackle the UV map, um, save it in a version there as final model. And then when you start creating the UV maps, splitting them all out, rename, um, save it as uh, gun model UV and keep saving. And also, at this point, I want to tell you as well, and this should be done throughout, whenever you're happy with a stage, you should do this, is select the gun and clear your history, which is in edit, delete by type, and history, or alt plus D. That will clear lots of history out that you've created. It won't affect the undos, you can still undo, but it'll just change all, it'll just delete all the extra nodes that have been added um, and kept. Also when you're happy with your gun make sure that you go to modify and then freeze transformations. This will zero everything out and be a lot better. So okay see you in the next lesson where we'll be in Photoshop and we'll be blocking the or we'll be laying overlaying and seeing how our texture map um, can be applied in Maya.